What is up guys, Mike Tamimo here, welcome to my YouTube channel, most certainly welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough, the playthrough of the Surf and the Beliar, the Hashishin Dark Mage, the God of Death, Chaos and everything unnatural like demons and skeletons, you get the drift. And uh, welcome to episode, I don't know, just check the title. But in this episode, nevertheless, we're gonna go to search the areas of Nordmar a bit in order to find the remaining orc patrols or orc hunting parties, if you will. Because apparently, I'm not done yet. When it comes to liberate Nordmar, and afterwards, we're gonna go to Ishtar and and do the trials of Zubin so that I can activate the Shrine of Balear and thus start the liberation in, Mo in Mirtana. But um, let's first go to, I think, mm, I'm trying to figure out where I sort my saber tooth cheese. It's probably with one of the alchemists because uh, I need some saber tooth teeth in order to create a blade which I need to make for the hammer clan in order to learn how to forge magic pure weapons and activate its quest 20 mana I can sell those to challenge checking what I can and cannot sell all right so let's quickly go to Ishtar Because I sold a whole lot to that Hashishin guy when uh, purchasing this Dark Mage Elite Armor. Well, Hashishin Elite Armor. Haven't found a Dark Rope yet, so, so far. Show me your goods. Alright, so one costs four, so I need three, seven. I'm gonna try to make the uh, weapon twice. Because it's better than now, you know. And I also needed not my noggin fox so to create that. But look at this man's gold, he's rich. Now we need to search for a cauldron. Or what's an alchemist's bench? I don't have the... I don't have the ingredients for that. I need one healing plant, eh? Now I don't think NPCs like alchemists sell healing plants, but I could check. Where's Relic?
this gonna cause more trouble? Well, we have a big problem. Show me your goods. If I only knew where I haven't been. Wait a minute. I think I know one location where I might find a uh, healing plant. Holy shit, man. Just checking the nearby vicinity, you know, while I'm hunting around a bit for some healing plants. I only need uh, one. Let's see if there is a healing plant here. Up the mountains near a chest that I could not open early game. Could have checked the alchemist here at uh, Cape Town, but uh, I don't think they sell healing plants.
I... Don't cause any more trouble here. I was apparently at the wrong smith. Here's the sword. Let me see. Yes, this is a good sword. Strong, yet lightweight. Good workmanship. What about my training? You have the talent and my approval. But I shouldn't be oh, the really? one to decide whether you are worthy or not. You're making fun of me. No, you seek the knowledge that made us Nordmarian strong. I need to be sure it will not be used to strengthen our enemies. So what am I to do? Go see the other smelters, Kalan of the Fire Clan, Larsen of the Wolf Clan, and Padar. If they all agree, then so will I. Now, as soon as this quest pop up, all the other smelters will go towards their de uh, destination. But what a waste. I, I, I sharpened that blade, I poisoned the blade for no reason. So, I need... Two more healing palms, goddammit, and four more saber tooth teeth. But let's quickly go to the wolf clan. He's the hardest one to find because uh, his road is relatively long. So do him first. How did you find me? I followed my nose. You did, huh? And what do you want? Ingvar sent me to seek out all of the smelters and learn from them. He did? I've got no time to teach you anything. I'm searching for something myself. What is it that you're looking for? Pure ore. Many nights ago I dreamed of a cave full of pure ore. You're going on a quest because of a dream? Why else should a man go on a quest? Why don't we go together? You don't even know where I'm going, and yet you want to come? That's what I call plucky. I like it. Fine, you can come. Just make sure you don't die. Sorry guys, but I was thirsty. 
so I got myself some drink. Now let's see which path this guy will take this time. Last time with the uh, playthrough of Adenos, he took uh, the most known one. Well, the longest one, let me put it that way. They're both long, but... I think he goes that road. Oh no, he takes this road this time. So, which is good, you know, then you guys will see the uh, second road that he might take. The other one is the uh, opposite direction towards that bridge over there where he killed a couple of orcs. About a uh, small army, about ten of them, I think. Of which, uh, two mages at least. Now, now he runs, if you don't accompany him, he walks, so, you know. And, like I said a couple of episodes earlier, I think it was, if mobs are between him and the road, he could be stuck facing those mobs, you know, in some way. Normal games, you know, most games, let me put it that way, norm most games will teleport the NPC to whatever destination it has to go to if you're out of screen or you're not even within its vicinity let me you know then he will teleport instantly towards that in Gothic 3 that is not the case they will literally walk all the way and if there are mobs in between it could get get them permanently stuck in you know trying to attack those mobs but he can't because you're not in the vicinity. If you're searching for him and you cannot find him, don't use the spawn com command because that will 9 out of 10 from personal experience will make your companions, your NPCs that you're spawning a bit bugged, you know. But uh, if you search for them, just type to uh, in command mode, you know, type in Marvin, get the command code, and then go to. Now, I, think it, I think it was go to and then NPC name. Now, Not quite sure now. whether it was with underscore or whatever. So I always, 9 out of 10, you know, especially with the incident that I had with Adenos. I th I'm pretty sure it was my playthrough of Adenos. Could also be my playthrough of Venus, which was the no commentary version. But I'm pretty sure it was my first one, which is Adenos, the uh, human orc mercenary. Enos is the rebel, and Beliar is the Hashishin, you know. But, uh take him first because as soon as you get a quest pop up these NPCs gonna start walking towards their um, to their towards their destination basically and this guy has the longest of them all which uh, could be fr f quite frustrating if one you don't know where that location is and two especially if you don't know what route he walks so that you cannot find them either way because like I said if mobs intervene in his path, he will be in a, you know, triggered moment, basically. But that cannot occur unless the player walks into view, and then either the mobs will attack the NPC, or the NPC will start attacking the mobs. But, uh, it, could, uh, it took me quite a few playthroughs basically to fully understand this guy's path and even then I had to google during my playthrough of Adenals because of the fact that he was not at his location I walked both paths and he was not there and or I didn't know about the second path you know something like that so I youtubed it 
But that YouTube video showed the different path, which I already knew, you know, so it was not really that helpful. So I spawned to the fucker by teleporting to him, you know, by uh, via the command codes, and uh, it gave me insight in a totally different route that I did not know he would take, which is the uh, route that I show you a few episodes back. Not quite sure for which episode precisely, but that makes no really no difference. Ooh. Or you have passed your test. Go back to Ingvar and tell him I believe you will make a skilled or smelter. I already have the ore, so I don't need to bother. Nothing to be had there. Alright, so let's go to the second one, which is from the Fire Clan. Which is rather pretty close towards the fire. Which is uh, really easy to figure out where the guy is. He will be under attack by a few orcs. I think we're about three, four. Could be five, but uh, again, he will not, you know, fight unless you're in sight. It's both a beautiful thing, but also a bad thing in a way. So there's no orc party beneath the uh, beneath the bridge of the fire clan. At least I think I'm relatively yeah beneath because I still need somewhere a party of orcs. Apparently, could also be the the one with the smith. I don't really see them, you know, as a uh, hunting party, as an orc party. But who knows? Who knows? Stop right there, Mora. Apparently, the guy isn't here yet. So I'm kind of screwed because now they are focused all on me. You are mine. Oh fuck, wrong one.
Oh, he is there already. Thanks. You saved my butt. I thought they were going to wring my neck. No hard feelings. I want to learn the ancient art of forging. Ingvar sent me. I need the approval of all smelters. I hid my steel hammer in the bushes. Not far from here. Find it, and you may keep it. And you can tell Ingvar that I think he couldn't find a better apprentice. Alright, so now let's go to the last one, which we're gonna go to via fairing, so without further ado, let's go to fairing. Ah, Ice Wolf. Not that I need their skins, but I could certainly use their XP. Already had this one, okay. That's what you always say. Damn, Mora, what is it? I lifted the stone. I saw you. I will teach you my craft. I hope you have a good reason for waking me, Mora. That's what you always say. I was hoping you had some healing plants. I won't tolerate that anymore. Because the saber tooth teeth, I can find it without problem. But uh, I need one more blade, apparently, because I did not know I would give the blade. I thought, you know, he would show it, but I can keep it. No, he took it. Greedy motherfucker. Cost me a fucking ore. Ore blank. And what do I get? Nothing. Nothing. Not even gold. But, should have known after, you know, beating the game a lot, first and foremost, and uh, second of all, already beat it the path twice. So I should have known, you know, but I didn't. Karma is a bitch. <laughs> Maybe that's a healing plants up there.
No healing plants though. Maybe up there. Even though I will get myself the twin swords later, you know. But uh, I do want my blades to match a bit. Currently doesn't. Not in the slightest. Surely it's a bit laggy. <laughs> Stupid PC. Going a bit out of course, so I'm gonna backtrack a bit.
Brando. A Montero will be able to fly plenty, pretty sure. But I also still need lots of XP. Because I'm not full build yet. Ingvar sent me. Why? I have nothing more to do with my clan. Ingvar sent me to seek out and learn from all the smelters. No. He is repeating the mistake I once made. Do you have a problem? Yes. Your training will bring you nothing but death, just like my apprentices. I cursed the day I sent them out to search. I said no. What if I complete the quest of your apprentices? No, it is too dangerous. Everything in Nordmar is dangerous. All right, but I warned you. If you succeed in acquiring the ingredients, then you have my blessing. I will master your tasks. What should I get? The horn of a shadow beast. Here is the stuff. Now you can make the weapon. You really did it. And you are alive. Yes. Now all you have to do is forge the sword. I shall. And you go back to Ingvar with my best wishes. He should teach you. As far as I am concerned, you are ready to learn the art. All right, so let's quickly go to the Hammer Clan. Still haven't done anything when it comes to the orc, orc hunting party though, but it's going to be a bit challenging figuring out which one it is, but I think it's going to be the wolf clan. There's only one way to find out. The other wants. smelters all approve of me. It's decided then. I shall teach you. Show me your goods. Only worth 2k. I only need four, so I don't have to repurchase those. Thanks, and nature. Now I only need to find some healing plants. Quickly go to the wolf clan, check the bridge under it. Which, if I remember correctly, is in a deep, deep gorge. I'm pretty sure I've already did this one. But there must be a group somewhere still alive. Otherwise, I would have completed the quest to liberate Nordmar. Pretty sure they're already dead. I just need to know whether they're still alive or not.
These are already dead. Hmm. I have to really figure out where. I was not hoping that it was going to be this complicated. Let me quickly check underneath the hammer clan. Because the majority of the orc parties you can, you know, you, you come across them relatively easy when going to each area. Or having quests for them in that regard. Someday this will be over. quickly check if I... Uh, I'm pretty sure I haven't completed it, otherwise it would have said, you know, completed. I will check out which one uh, I've been missing but anyways guys thank you guys for watching if you like what you see subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you want to see a gothic series hardcore run and I hope to see you guys in the next episode where I hopefully have figured out which one of the orc hunting parties I apparently miss so yeah without further ado Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.